Nvidia takes over Apple at market value 3.1 trillion to secure second place behind Microsoft. Firm share price rose over 5% on Wednesday to more than $1,224. Nvidia sits just behind Microsoft in market value, which is crazy considering that they were only valued in February at 2 trillion. So in four months, Nvidia has managed to gain a market share of over a trillion over estimation. In February, Nvidia announced a stock split. This means that the number of shares would be diluted by 10. So for every one share, it turns into 10. A change aimed at making shares more affordable to small time investors. Set to happen tomorrow, this may generate even more value to the stock. But why is the company Nvidia worth $3 trillion? And where did it all start from? Founded in 1993, Nvidia's aim was to bring 3D graphics to multimedia and gaming. In 1999, they released their first GPU. In 2006, they founded CUDA, opening the parallel processing capabilities of GPUs. In 2012, Nvidia sparked the modern era of AI by powering the breakthrough AlexNet neural network. 2018, Nvidia reinvents computer graphics with RTX, which allows real-time ray tracing and graphics processing. And recently, in 2022, Omniverse, which plays a foundational role in the entirety of the metaverse. So within those 31 years of being founded, Nvidia has grown to a $3.1 trillion business. But what does Nvidia do? Nvidia is at the precipice of computer graphics and gaming and artificial intelligence. Nvidia's graphics and processing allow for a range of applications, leading them to be one of the top dogs in all markets. So they reinvented modern graphics with RTX. They created a digital twin of the planet to help battle climate change. They are at the forefront of science challenges and their chips are optimized for AI in a variety of industries. Nvidia also works on self-driving cars with Nvidia Drive, but in those 31 years, how has Nvidia actually managed to get to where it is right now? Well, it comes down to multiple things. Initially, Nvidia started off with computer graphics and gaming. And in the beginning, they almost had a monopoly on the market, considering their graphics cards were some of the only ones that could run the higher FPS games. This caused Nvidia's popularity within the gaming community to skyrocket. They were known as the best graphics card manufacturer, and everyone from cheap budget PC builds to would use Nvidia. But that's where you think their market would stop. It wasn't the case. So in November 2021, something took a rather huge leap upwards, and that's crypto. Bitcoin hit its max valuation at the time at 40,000 pounds a coin. And because of this, the interest in Bitcoin went through the roof as well. Bitcoin miners were a huge thing and people wanted to make quick money fast by mining the cryptocurrency. And to do that, they needed graphics cards. And graphics cards kind of just disappeared from the market. Crypto miners were buying them out of the market. You could not get one. You could get secondhand ones, but even so they may come with a risk that they had been mined before. And that's not to say that mining damaged the card in any way, but it wasn't a risk that a lot of gamers spending thousands of pounds on their hobby would like to spend. So Nvidia saw its second spike with Bitcoin going through the roof and graphics cards being swept off the market. But that wasn't all. In the future years to come, we got ChatGPT, OpenAI, a bunch of other AI processes going on. And who's perfect for that? Nvidia graphics cards, Nvidia chips, Nvidia optimization. They optimized for AI. They are perfectly in the balance of the progression that AI is taking in, and that puts them at the forefront of the market. But what's next for Nvidia? I don't know myself. Will AI continue to take off and Nvidia chips get even better and more optimized with them? Or maybe Nvidia will somehow change into a different market altogether, such as gaming to crypto to now artificial intelligence. I'm interested to find out what lies in store for NVIDIA, and I hope you are too.